My dude is locking stuff in outer space. Does this man have no limits? Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Keen and welcome back to 12 Locks Around the World. We're going to outer space. How great is that to be in open space? Very great. Houston, we have a problem. I've locked everything. What happened? It looks like I locked the hatch with 12 locks again. This dude's a maniac. He's a maniac. He has a problem and needs to talk to someone about it. You've gone too far, man. First things first, I gotta tap his his the, what you spit out a gear is there anything else D dude you've just got a key in your suit all right well that's one key down 11 to go in outer space what do i do with this thing oh my goodness gracious uh tap on earth why is there a section of earth that is orange is that no that's not doing anything okay we've got some kind of alien ship no this is just the other side of the same ship Yes, okay. There's a lot going on here, but we're gonna figure it out. We just gotta work through it one piece of the puzzle at a time. What's going on with uh, S Susan here? I, I don't, I forget her name. Stacy, Veronica, Mildred, Mildred. Nothing's going on with Mildred, okay. I know that's not her name, but I don't know what her actual name is. What about the chair? Chair? We've got some kind of like, oh, wait a second. Can we, okay, we can plug in the panel, um, but I feel like we need a screwdriver to, uh, to unlock this whatever this thing is what is this thing keep tapping it it's not doing anything we'll come back to that one what about the moon it's made of cheese eat the moon no can't eat the moon okay fair enough there's a red button it's now a green button <laughs> uh, uh, i have no idea what that does little concerning uh okay another gear no i don't need a hint right now no hints. Oh, you know what? What if we add this to the clock? Is that a clock? No, that's not a clock. I don't know what this thing is. It's just spinning around and around. That is a giant key. Uh, okay, I feel like we can shrink it, maybe? If we if we turn on this machine, like there's a plus and a minus. I feel like we can, we can minus this thing and shrink it, but it's not working. So again, we'll come back to that one. Oh, screwdriver. Yes, give me the screwdriver because I know what to actually do with that. Remove the screws, get access to this panel and break my brain. Okay, um, I suspect that we need to connect all of the dots to the same color path. Does that make sense? In my head, it made sense. You guys kind of understand what I'm trying to say, right? I feel like the smart thing to do is to, to start with connecting the, the dots that are on the side with the right color, but then there's different options here. No, it's gotta be like that. Okay, and then, oh boy, oh man, this is, this is something. So we're, we're going up like that. I'm, I'm Right now I'm trying to figure out the blue path. So I think I need to get the, this blue dot on the left-hand side of the screen to the blue dot on the bottom of the screen. Probably. This feels right. It could be very wrong. No, I think this is right because it lines up with the green really well when I when I get it set up like that. Oh, baby. I think, I think we're getting there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is coming together. Look at this. Boom. Okay, you got green to green. You got blue to blue. Now we just need to finish red and everything has fallen apart. <laughs> It's so quickly. Wait, I thought I thought we had it. I really thought we had it. But okay, wait, wait, wait. We can divert the blue path, which will save the red path. Aha! I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay. I think that's it. I think this is gonna solve the puzzle. Yo! Oh, that felt really good. Um oh. There's more to it. Okay, just set everything to green. Oh, I can only have one thing green at a time. Oh, there's now like a Galaga style game. Okay, this this level is really cool. I'm digging this a lot right now. Take out all of the aliens. Get them, get them. Almost done, almost done. They're getting a little closer, a little scary. There you go. Give me a key. Look at me, look at me go. Now we're talking. So... Now that we've completed that, I think we can turn on a different module and try and figure that out. Let's go ahead and use this orange-ish key. There you go. And uh, let's continue our adventure. Hey, Dad, I uh, hope you're having a great time out there in outer space. I'm just gonna tap you a few times. Just make sure that you're not hiding any more keys. How did it, okay, wait, wait a second. How did he lock the space station entrance but somehow get the keys inside of the space station. 
You have superpowers, my dude? I think he might be able to just teleport. I think he has the power to teleport. That's why locks don't bother him. Because he can put a billion locks on a door, but just teleport through it. No inconvenience for him. Everybody else, extreme inconvenience. But for him, the man with the power to teleport, who cares? That way he's safer on the inside. But he's very shy about using his teleport ability. So when I'm looking, when I'm watching the game, he won't use it. That's my story. Does it check out? Probably not. I think he's just an absolute insane person. Hello, Mr. Robot. Um, what's going on with you? <laughs> I, I turned the robot module on. So he used to be asleep, now he's awake. Uh, maybe I give him one of these gears? Oh, it's your heart. Here, you want the other gear? No, that, that doesn't work. Um, okay, uh, trash, check the trash. What is that? I know what, th there's a 3D printer I just noticed. So these are probably templates. They're templates for the 3D printer. And now we complete his insides and that's a happy robot who gives you a code, 7912. What do I use it on? <laughs> do I use it on you? No, oh, I hate that. That puzzle looks like it's gonna melt my brain. This puzzle also looks like it's gonna melt my brain. We have to get the blue circles probably inside of that blue section of this ring. <sighs> Oh, wow. Okay. Um, there's another puzzle that I, I can't make any sense of at the moment. We'll get around to it eventually. What I would like to do is figure out where to use this code. 7912. Is there... Oh, you know what? 7912. Give me that green light. I love it. So satisfying. All right. Um, we can also just print a key. That seems like a pretty smart thing to do. Bust out the 3D printer. Give me a pink key. Apparently the printer only prints in pink, by the way. You can see the, the pink gear came out of it and we got the pink key. So I don't think we're gonna be able to print any more keys, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this out and we're gonna save you, you maniac. Keep putting yourself in this weird situation. I hope you got a lot of oxygen. I don't know how long these puzzles are gonna take to solve. Uh, we don't need the robot anymore, right? So we can change the active module, which makes me sound way smarter than I actually am. I just like saying the word module. What's this thing? Magnifying glass. Some kind of searchings. Oh, okay. This is of course the mass altering distributor. Duh. Can't believe you guys didn't know what this machine is called. And I definitely didn't just make that up. We need to shrink the key and we need to get it to an appropriate size for, you know, opening locks. I think that's right. <laughs> that's... That feels like it's too small, right? You gotta go a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure. Okay, you know what? Let's try that and then we'll we'll turn it off. We'll turn on the other thing. Go back to the mass altering distributor. Can we pick up the key? No, which means that it's not the right size. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back to it. At least we know what we need to do with that thing. Um, What's going on with this? What, there's like a picture of an astronaut looking at Earth. There's got to be something going on here, though. I just don't know what, obviously. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we've got like a little constellation thing. <gasps> you know what? Do you think this corresponds to this? How does this work? Okay, we can only move one dot. So that's incredibly confusing. Oh no, you can add. Okay, yes, we can make this work. It's like a weird spaceship sort of shape. I really wish this thing was closer to this, but I think we go that way. I like that. Am I doing this right? Does that seem right? I think it's getting there. Let me check. Yeah, okay, okay. Pull this, is that not right? Oh, oh, I got it, all right totally meant to do that. Wait, actually, I'm kind of trying to use this key that I'm holding to get an idea of the scale of the key that I need for the mass altering distributor. Let's turn that thing back on and then let's uh, make the key a little bit bigger. I, I think that's right. Can I have the key? Yes. All right, there we go. So that's two more keys. Check those off the list. Still got more work to do though. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. I turn it on and it floats around. I don't know what, like, are you, I don't know what to do. We'll come back to you. Just enjoy your life floating around for now. I gotta figure this out, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's 
gonna be interesting. We need to get the blue dots next to each other. That's, that's the key, of course. I mean, duh. So if I do that, no. Oh. They're getting closer. They're getting closer to each other. I don't know if that's the play right there. Okay, I think, okay, I got these two next to each other, which is awesome. I think I need to go all the way around with this one, and that should get us maybe not quite. Wait, you just do this. Look at me. Okay, there you go. Boom, give me a key. What is that? That's not a key. What is this thing? What do you expect me to do with this? Um, is there something that maybe I can maybe oh, you know what? Maybe it's for this. It was a it was a key card. Everybody knows space stations lock using key cards. It's basically a scientific truth. Okay, now I have to figure out this one, and I hate it. I feel like we had a similar puzzle to this one in the previous level. Don't remember exactly how I did it. <laughs> I think, okay, yeah, I need to keep all the pinks together. And then the same is true of the purples. So we'll, we'll do something like that. Keep the, the pink guys together. And then, oh no, what have I done? Okay, we can make this work. This, this works, right? Yes. Has he done it? I've done it. I've absolutely done it. Oh man. These puzzles are not that complicated, but for some reason, when I get them solved, I, I feel real good. It's making my brain real happy. Let's open another lock. I think there's only three more. What's going on with this guy? Oh, it's a Simon Says thing. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, pay attention, pay attention. That, that, that. My brain hurts. Wait, this, 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 this left? Okay, I'm glad that it stopped there because if it added any more to that combination, I probably would have forgotten. Not gonna lie. This is so frustrating to watch because you can see the, the green like spaceship thing can never quite catch up to the arm. It's like, oh, you're almost there. No. Oh. <laughs> but I have no idea what to do with it. Like what, what are we supposed to do here? Do, does turning this thing off change anything about, is it just me or is it getting closer? Is the little green triangle spaceship getting closer or is it just in my head? I think it's in my head. Maybe I just want to believe. It's like a DVD screensaver. It never hits the corner. It never perfectly fits in that corner. It always does a little boop boop. And you're like, why? Just get in the corner. So frustrating. There's something with this painting that we've got to do, but I don't know. I really, really don't know. Um, let's turn this thing on and see if anything changes around here when that is on. It doesn't seem like it. Maybe we need to turn a different module on. Oh! There was more in the trash can. I got a wrench or an arm. What should I use it on? Do I use it on? <gasps> It's a little robot. Where did he go? Oh, he's going to bring me a key. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Okay. It still doesn't help me with this situation here, but at least we got another key. Get out of here. All right. The time has come where we just tap everything like an absolute maniac. The moon. What's going on with the moon? Nothing. These drawers. Nothing. There, there's something here, right? Like th this is the only thing that is left that we haven't actually been able to interact with, but I don't know how, like, whoa, I don't even know what I did there. <laughs> I, I think I just tapped like the, the, um, the triangle, the spaceship, and it went a little bit faster or something. I don't really know, but I'm glad it worked. Um, okay. There's only one more thing left and it definitely has to do with this. I just don't know what to do with this. Um, there's like four dots down here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's four dots on the hatch. I have no idea what the sequence is. This doesn't tell me anything. Blue? Okay, so we, we have red, green, yellow, blue. <gasps> Maybe if I turn on the robot, he'll help me. Mr. Robot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. It turned on the lights. Okay. So it's green, blue, red, yellow. This was the final piece to our puzzle. Green, blue, red, yellow. There it is. Open the hatch. Get in there, bud. Hooray. The hatch is opened. Should just teleport it in. Just saying. Finally, I can put off this spacesuit and back scratch. And look at me go. I, I beat it in 58 seconds. That's right. Definitely only took me 58 seconds to win.